and we're back. So, the more eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that I am in a completely different location from where I was when I ended the last episode. <clears throat> when I ended last time, which was a particularly short episode, just because I felt like it was a good ending point, but when I ended it, we were inside our new Thieves Guild Hall inside Athkatla, and now we are in the Umar Hills. I have brought us out to the Umar Hills for one very particular reason. That being the fact that we are looking for this wizard murderer for the cowled wizards, and he owns a house that's out here. I suspect this is the house we're looking for right here. You can just sort of see it, only partially uncovered. So I came out here because I wanted to catch this on camera if anything happened. But before we get started, I have to mention, I have gone off and done a little bit of shopping off camera. For the most part, it wasn't anything too important. It was just some potions. As you can see, we are down to 18,000 gold from about 36, 37,000, so I spent a lot of money. I bought a whole bunch of healing potions, as well as a few invisibility ones, sold a bunch of our excess items, but I also picked up, for Toby and Nalia respectively, a potion case where I'm keeping all of the potions that we're not using at this moment in time. And an ammo belt. So those are our storage methods for this. In addition to that, I also bought quite a few arrows of a bunch of different types. So Nolly has some ammunition. As you can see, She's currently sporting nearly 450 arrow plus one. And if we go into the ammo container here, our ammo belt, you will see, we're not exactly short for other kinds of ammunition. 240 arrow plus two, 330 arrows of fire, 240 arrows of ice, 92 acid arrows. And that'll probably just keep on growing. Because I have Nali using quite a lot of ammunition, I've gone ahead and given her that. I'm actually thinking of seeing if I can't pick up a second ammo belt for Toby, because he is also getting into the whole archery thing. What with the fact that we have a longbow plus one as our backup weapon. Anyways... That's all about that. Yes. So I wouldn't dream of let's refusing. head on over here and see if there's anything of interest to be found. Let us speak and be done with this. You, you're one of those wizard folk looking for Velgar, aren't you? Wizard folk. He's talking about the cowled wizards, no doubt, but... Yes, I'm looking for him, but I'm not interested in a fight. To be honest, I can't really say that I trust their side of things. Well, move on then. Get out of here. Let's not provoke the mountain lion and head on in. Honestly, that was surprisingly easy to get around them. Those guards out there are a little bit too trusting. I, I, really I don't, don't like know this. about that. How are we helping the less fortunate trudging around in here? Oh, yes. I'm still here. 
Ho there. More cowled ones? Or their servants, no doubt. By the gods, I swear you'll not live to take me to that damnable sphere. Wait. Sphere? I am working with the wizards, yes, but they've said nothing of any sphere. What do you speak of? A planar sphere appeared in the slums of Athkatla weeks ago. My ancestor, the necromancer Lavok, built that sphere as some sort of planar traveling device. Lavok disappeared with the sphere over five centuries ago, and has not been seen again until now. I have no desire to meet my ancestor, and even less to help the cowled wizard, and seem certain that my body is the only key to the sphere, alive or no. Oh, so this is why they want your body, to get inside that sphere and take its treasure? Can't support this, Toby. This changes everything. A fellow ranger just plunged into peril. A fellow ranger plunged into peril by evil wizards? Even Boo cringes at what we have been sent to do. Toby, this cannot be. I tried to force my cooperation, and I was forced to defend myself and flee. I had hidden here successfully, I thought, until you came. And why should you fear this Lavok, this ancestor of yours? Surely he's dead now, after all this time. I mean, honestly, no one can live that long, right? It's been a long time, but for all I know, time may work differently when traveling the plains. As for his immortality, well, my ancestor has extended his life before, but that is a different story. I am the last of the Korthala line. That may mean little to you, but it means plenty to Lavok. When Lavok left Athkatla in the sphere, he was already many centuries old. Lavok extended his life by stealing the bodies of blood relations. If he yet lives, you can imagine my concern. This is also why my blood may allow entrance to the sphere. Yes, the wizards that I spoke to who hired me to bring you back, they said nothing of this. You did kill two of their number, did you not? I, I did. Twas no murder, however. They attacked me first. I refused to cooperate with their request and fled as soon as I was able to withdraw. There is more to this story than I was told, it seems. Perhaps you should tell me everything. And he's just repeating things we've already been told. And I take it, then, that there is no way to confront the cowled wizards and resolve the situation more directly. The wizards will not rest until they get inside that sphere, and one cannot hope to stand up to them for long. It's not without steady hands at one's back. Well, as I said, I was hired by them to apprehend you, but under the circumstances, I feel I should reconsider that commitment. What now? I suspected as much. Very well, then. My proposal is that we return to the city and enter the sphere. That way I will know if Lavok lives. If he does, we can exterminate his ghoulish existence once and for all. You are more than welcome to whatever lies within the sphere, such as magical treasures and anything else of Lavox. None of it interests me in the slightest. Yes. This is a rather interesting proposal, admittedly, and... Toby would quite honestly rather trust this guy as a partner and get out of it 
a whole boatload of magical loot and plunder, then take the money of the cowled wizards. Despite our initial estimation of we should try and not cross them so they wouldn't suspect us when we eventually break in to rescue Imoen, let's just say, well, Toby's beginning to care less and less about that as more time passes, is the best way to put it. But will the cowled wizards not oppose us, should we go that route? The wizards will not rest until they get inside that sphere, and one can... You're just repeating yourself. Very well. Join us, and we shall see what is inside this planar sphere ourselves, then. Most excellent. My family swore an oath long ago go to kill Lavok should he ever reappear. Perhaps I shall be the one to fulfill it. My heartfelt thanks to your offer of aid. Though, I should tell you before we begin that I intend to rescue a friend of mine who's been held prisoner by the cowled wizards. You could end up having to cross them again. Are you okay with that? There is strength in numbers with you, and if you wish to have my help in exacting a toll against the cowled wizards that stand in your way, you'll hear no complaint from me. Let us be moving, then. More likely, the cowled wizards will hear of my movements, and the fact that you accompany me soon enough. We shall have to be ready. We will have to be wary, uh, careful even, the cowled wizards now at our heels, but it is a righteous cause, and another companion to stand at our side is always welcome. Welcome, brother of the woods. Together you and Boo and I shall stride forward to crush all evil in our wake. Woe betide evil. And this is just the excuse I've been working, looking for, I'm afraid. Annie, I'm sorry, but... Your presence in the party is no longer required. Goodbye. We must continue our travels. Uh, no. We'll go as you bid, but when we've done well together, I should like to rejoin you when you have changed your mind. I will await you at the Copper Coronet. Yeah, yeah, we'll meet back there. Uh, sorry to disappoint, Animan, but you are not going to be joining our ranks again. Though I don't know if Vilgar here is going to be staying along for the ride. To be perfectly honest, I have not decided yet. If he is, then I will need to equip him with some better weapons than this. And get some uh, more suitable armor. We shall see. He's level 9? Stalker. What the hell is a stalker? Would be my question. Mm -hmm. But for Just the time being, we can you go. Must gather your party I'll see about getting Vilgar some better gear later on. For now, onward then. Let's take the group and get out of here. 
we want to head back into town, and I probably will stop by and buy some stuff for Vilgar. However, we're going to stop by the, the Arnais Keep, I think. And just check out and see if there's anything else of any importance happening in the area. After all, we are this place's lord, as awkward as it probably is for Toby to be both lord of the keep and guildmaster of his own thieves guild hall. At the same time, we should check up on the place. Speaking of the Thieves Guild thing, I also need to check up with them. And see how things are going with their thievery when we get back into town. Ugh, you... my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, I fear the pace we have set is too much for me. I must rest. Alrighty. Greetings, Your Grace. Anyone here to see me? Apparently not. Something you need? I am going to of go course. and take care of something, though. Greetings, Your Grace. Gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, then I'll do that another time. I'm just gonna go nab what had been collected for taxes and things, but can't be bothered if I'm gonna have to bring the whole Ready party. And I wouldn't dream of refusing. Speaking of, you must gather uh, your. I think we'll be getting going now. It's time for us to push off. Whatever I can do to help. So, let's get going then. We should probably do some bits of shopping and gear upgrades for our new companion. Even if he might not be sticking around for too long. We can afford a little bit of extra money to buy him some quality gear. If he's going to be traveling with us for any length of time... I really think we should. Unfortunately, we seem yes. to have arrived Just at name night. You want. So, instead, we'll be going to our guild hall. And do that shopping once it hits more now. Over to Toby's Guild Hall, and, and damn it is sweet to be able to say that. Toby's Guild Hall. Of course. It is nice to be able to say that. Having our own guild hall. 
for our own thieves is so glorious. It really is. Of course, that does technically make us an underling to the leader of the Shadow Thieves, but... As far as Toby's concerned, there are worse groups to be an underling to than a Guild of Thieves, after all, so... It's not all bad. A bit of work as an underling, your eyes in the ranks, and maybe one of these days... We become the new leader ourselves. Who can say? Is a little bit slow, it seems. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Something you need. Oh, yes. Okay, so we to pop on in. Guild affairs are an important matter, all part of the job. Doesn't look like this. Oh, I know a discerning eye interest. when I see one. Doesn't look like there's anything of any real interest at the moment. So we are going to get some rest. Ah, help me! Help me, please! What is it, Ari? By the gods, you're drenched with sweat. What's wrong? I was having a dream. The most dreadful nightmare. Please, please sit with me for but a short while. I am shaken to my very core. Certainly. What was the dream about? <laughs> I was back in the circus after my owner had decided that my wings had become too diseased. I had been laying in my cage, sweating and delirious for days. His men came and pulled me out, and my wings burned so I could barely cry out. I was so weak. And they began to saw off my wings, hacking at them with rusted knives. <laughs> I screamed and screamed, and they hacked off my wings and then used torches to seal my wound. Oh, Toby, oh, Toby, I... I... All right, Ari. Well, uh, shh, Ari, calm yourself. I understand. It... It felt like I was there again. I can... I still feel my wings being torn from my back. Aww. Sorry, Toby. It was so long ago. I should not still be so torn. I must resign myself to my fate. Come, let us continue with your journey. Aww. Ready and a just as I thought. Harry. Harry. Onward then. I feel so bad for her. It's terrible. But now we're in the area, so we did have one random quest to rescue what's his face, Monteron or whatever. From this group of harp. It's a while back. Yes, faster than Chick Tika fast paws. And I'd like to try that. Yes. Mm -hmm. To the task at hand. Actually, never mind. Toby thought about it for a second and then concluded he never liked Monteron that much anyways. So, why bother? And we are now going to go off
and Melgar. going to come with us to open this thing in the slums. But we're not going to go in right away. We have other th things we'd rather do first. Like getting him some more gear and this one quest you As you around here. Harry, what the hell? Seriously, what's going on with this? Harry is just randomly stopping all movement. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would go for the, the eyes, boo. I don't like go the for the eyes. Yeah! Let's go. Also, random thug attack. So hooray for that. What the hell, Airy? What the hell? some kind of control bug. That's the only thing I can think of, but Ares just randomly stopping all movement and it makes no yes. goddamn sense. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Area, cut it out. This is so damned annoying. Stop it. <sighs> Honestly, this is so annoying. I can. I'll do it. And it's specifically just Aerie this is happening to. Does she have some sort of AI control bug I don't know about or something? That's the only thing I can think of, honestly. Okay, over to the promenade for some shopping. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourselves. You and for getting waylaid by enemies and having to defend ourselves. Come 
come on. Murder their faces. Okay, well, like I said, going to go and do some shopping before we head on into that sphere, but it's probably going to be kind of boring, so I'm just going to stop the recording here, and I will resume once I've done my shopping, and we're back in front of the sphere. See you then. Okay, we're back, and I did my shopping. I'll aid you if I can. Didn't end up doing much of it, as it happens, because I decided to just stick with the bare minimum and let him stick with his current armor, so all I really got was a katana plus one. Since he does have skills with katana. Of course. So now, we are heading in, and Airy has some weird movement bug I haven't been able to figure out where she'll just randomly stop moving, and it's not just that. I'm also getting a little thing where sometimes when I am moving around the formation thing like this, that will just up and vanish. You may have seen that in the past. Yes? So All basically... Right. I have to move Airy independently of the rest of the party now, in order to avoid that. It's quite annoying, actually. Mm-hmm. Whatever I can do to help. I'll help how I'll do my best. I don't know what the problem is. None of the things that I have installed to my tweak pack should be altering any of her scripts. I don't get it. It's really confusing. Need. Just name what you want. Anyways, that would be a golem. A den of stinking evil. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. I shall strike now go put shadows. on your invisibility cloak and check around here. There's a couple of doors. This thing. Golem building book. And more coal. Interesting. You point, so I punch. Where Minsk goes. I'm getting an idea inside. from this. It's only sort of the loose framework of an idea, but I'm thinking of something that might be possible. We will see if this idea of mine goes anywhere. We will see. For now, let's just say it involves those golem bits we've been gathering and see if you folks can't work it out yourself. Wouldn't be surprised if you were able to. It's not a particularly complex one, for sure. Sword! Jump on my sword Something while you can, even. I won't be as gentle! Don't need neither of those darts, that's for sure. And Toby has picked up a book here. Golem building book. 
I finally have created a guardian golem that is specifically suited for the challenging class task, even, of cleansing my spear of planar creatures. It is exceedingly efficient in combat, having recently destroyed a score of dretch and chasm demons, though it was damaged in the encounter. These notes will serve as a reminder to me on the proper method of constructing the golem should it be destroyed. Note to self, avoid engaging other planar creatures. The exercise is quite difficult and better left to the golem. A standard golem requires two legs, two arms, and a head. Be wary that some denizen of the sphere does not steal any of my sphere golem pieces. It would be frustrating to have to actually track down the pieces myself. The most difficult task comes after the pieces are assembled in the workroom. To activate the golem, you must dot dot dot. Fortunately, the pages past this point are burnt and their words can no longer be deciphered. Yeah, that is too bad. You can probably guess what my potential idea was. Ready and able. Just based As off of this. As I said, not exactly a particularly complex this one, to be sure. Death to trap. Wonderful. Absolutely fucking spectacular. Yes? Of course! So now let's kill the spiders again. Toby, run back. And on to the next spider, please. Enter caps, please. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Yeah. I wouldn't dream of. Okay. I honestly can't be bothered to pick up the loot. Ready and well, able. I say that, and now I've changed my mind. I'm a bit of a lootaholic in these games. Can you tell? I know it's not all that obvious. How are we helping <laughs> the less fortunate trudging around in here? Not obvious at all that I'm a bit of a lootaholic, is it? That stuff. Airy, you have that. Alia, you have the coal. Toby can hold on to the book about making golems. Yes. And actually, Toby, use your special I am a ball spawn powers to heal yourself. Because you can do that twice a day. Just as I May as well, I suppose. And now... Unlock that. And... Let's check for traps again. I really should have thought to do that before. That doesn't have a conventional lock. Great. I hate doors with non-conventional locks. They are really fucking annoying. That thing opens up to a halfling warrior. So Toby, kindly run away, because there are lots of halfling warriors incoming, 
And Nature all of them need to die. Now move on to the next. And murder their faces. Because face murder is clearly an optimal solution to all problems, right? Of course it is. Of course. On that subject, something you need. I wonder what the these things are. Mm. The furnace requires coal for it to work. Requires coal. We currently have two pieces of coal. We are doubtless going to need to find a third for whatever this is. I don't actually know what this whole bit of machinery will do, but I have a feeling that it's in our interest to find out. Translation, I am going to push a button and see what happens, because that never goes wrong in any video game, right? Obviously not. Pushing a button always goes very well indeed. It always works. It's great that you push a button and there are never any problems. That's one golem down, so there is a second one in there. Let's send Toby in to get its attention. It seems to have forgotten us, and we're feeling neglected. Haha. <laughs> so then. Let's send the group in together. Fears within as I can wrong here. There they go. Of course. Toby. Over and let's see. Does this thing have a trap on it? That's what I need to figure out. It doesn't look like it. I think whatever those are, and that golem head. And we're in some room that's effectively like the inside of a clock. That's honestly kind of awesome. As you saw, I also picked up the head of a golem. So we have a couple of golem bits. Let's give Toby the other two pieces of coal. Quick save the game, just in case the universe is destroyed or something when I turn these on. Well, and not able. quite the universe being destroyed, but we did summon a fire elemental. As I said, not quite the universe being destroyed, but it was the summoning of a fire elemental. Yes. Same sort of thing, right? Clearly. That furnace is now functioning, so we probably have to do that two more times for, for whatever happens here to take place. Called it. Something Another bloody here. fire elemental. I this weapon has no effect. Something is wrong here. There goes the next fire elemental. Nalia, why don't you back up? If one's gonna form over by that, we don't want our archer on the front ranks. Whatever I can do to help. You get back and Toby go activate this. Ready and able. Everyone dive right in. This weapon has no effect. This weapon has no effect. Yeah, Something is wrong not here. really much to say here, it's just me just beating the tar out of a fire elemental. Not a whole lot to say to that. If I'm being perfectly honest. Yes. Of course! So 
So these are now functioning. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can think of I that that might have done is that door over there with the non-standard lock. Perhaps it opened that because we didn't find any key or anything. So that is honestly oh, all I can yes. think of that it might have done. Doesn't have a conventional lock. We're still getting that bloody thing. So, uh, question now is what do I do? Because that clock room does not appear ready and able. to have anything in it right now. Just as I thought. And that door we cannot currently use. And we've already turned on all the furnaces, so what do I do? That's the thing to figure out now. How did I miss this? There's actually a thing right over here. There has to be a control panel relating to the creation of a golem. It's missing an arm and a head. So we'll add those and activate it. Hopefully it will break down that door I've not been able to open yet. Servant detects an intruder. It must be destroyed. It's not talking about us. You must watch your every move in a place. Ready and able. Dark. Foul magic is drawn to these pits like flies. Can okay. you? Well, it's opened the door through to here. So we will see what happens now. Yes. Now it into here. And the symbols on the floor. Unfortunately, I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. See, these four runes of the key. Touch them in the correct order. Fail and be punished by the guardian. The problem is, I don't seem to be given any sort of hint as to what I should do here. That's unfortunate. Okay. I wouldn't dream of it took me a whole bunch of trial and error to figure this out, but I'm not actually going to show that because. It was kind of boring. It was just me getting hit by fire a lot when I screwed up. So you just get to see the happy result. Lucky you. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I screwed this up a whole bunch of times Whatever and I can do to help. just ended up succeeding at, sh at it by sheer dumb luck. I know, I suspect that it actually being like that was something to do with resembling a compass or something, I suspect, but I don't actually know for sure, so I am really just sort of guessing for the most part. That's what it seems like it might be, anyways. Just name what you want. And wow, this place really is big. It really is. The mage and Togarius? 
Oh, right, that mage bastard from the Keld Wizards. That's cute. He thinks he can actually do something to us. That's cute. How adorable. Really. Okay. Words, not words. Well, your gro your cronies are done f with, so the rest of us can no go deal with Tolgarius proper. I think. Airy. How about a little bit of hold person, if you would? Now, get him. And has he gone instant transmission on us, or is he actually dead? I cannot tell. Something is wrong here. Something is wrong here. I'll do it. Ready, and I wouldn't dream of refusing. All right. No, he's not. He's still standing there. I need some healing. Okay, all right. A lot more exciting than any circus. Okay, Ari. You, I think, can try healing yourself. We're getting through to him. It's just... It just takes a while. He did manage to paralyze the majority of the group, though. Just not all of us. And... As you can see... Probably a good thing we did decide to stick around here. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined you would be doing so. And apparently, he's somewhat not dead. You fools! I was close to escaping. Yeah, I'm not in the habit of caring about the thoughts of centuries-old psychotic necromancers. If I'm being perfectly honest. So, your prior actions have somewhat put you on Toby's shit list, I'm afraid. Lavak! You will die, mortals! You and your kind have stood in my way for far too long! You will not pass. I shall fulfill my family's vow, and end your hideous life once and for all! And your intrusion has caused the sphere to leap back to my own dimension! I have been denied the material plane. I will have my revenge. Yeah, screw you. Screw you. How can I help? That's all I have to say. Screw you. Yes. We'll go with lightning bolt and a little bit of hold person, maybe. In this weapon has no effect. No effect. No effect. You point at where Minsk goes. Okay. Evil stands aside. Something is wrong here. Fall back. Swords, not words. In that case, maybe we should just get up here and try bashing his face in. Bashing people's faces in is a pretty tried and tested technique for winning battles, as far as Toby's concerned, so. May as well, right? May as well. Come on. Hit him successfully. 
He's on the brink of death, goddammit. This weapon has no effect. Come on. Am I needed? Nalia. How about you do a little bit of that and I'll help however I can. Airy. Mm, holy smite, perhaps. And down he goes. Where am I? The force that possessed me is, is gone. What is this? Some manner of trick. Yeah, I'm not buying this either. Force that possessed him? That's awfully convenient, now isn't it? Who might you be? I can barely see you. I am your descendant, Lavok. I am Vailgar Korthala, and I will not allow you to take over my body to extend your life. Since you let yet live, I shall end it now. Korthala, yes, I remember this now, my family. Oh, I am dying, Vagar Korthala. Of that, you can be certain. Nothing will bring me greater relief. Eh? I warn you, Necromancer, I shall not be fooled. Nor do I intend to fool you, young one. I've been imprisoned in my own mind by that strange force for half an eternity. Death would be a blessing. Are you trying to tell me that you are not evil? That you are not the sorcerer who preyed upon his own family as a ghoul would, whose legacy has haunted my family always? No, no, I am he. I am all these things you said and more. I spent half an eternity keeping that force from prying the secrets of the sphere from my mind. I could not unleash it upon my home. Thank you for ending its existence. This should redeem you for all you have done. I say it is a fitting punishment. Indeed it is. I have had years of pain and I wish to consider my sins. I can offer you nothing other than my sorrow, Vailgar, if I have brought you pain. I... If I could call it all back. Ah, if I could go back and convince the man I once was that the spear was a mission of pride doomed to failure. But I cannot. Death shall relief this me soon enough for my overlong life. I would ask one thing of you, Vilgar, although I know you have no reason to grant it to me. I don't... What would you ask of me? I would wish to see the sky of my homeworld one final time. To be at peace knowing that I have died in the place I was born so long ago. I am dying and I wish to die there, under my own sun. In return, in return, I shall tell you how to return the sphere to our own plane. I am glad you entered the sphere when you did. I was able to keep from the force and the fact that the sphere had a defense against intrusion. It would automatically travel to another plane. A trap that would allow me to deal with the intruders at will. But that was another time. Bring me home, Vilgar Korthola, and I will tell you how. Th this is not a trick? It is no trick, my descendant. I have no strength left for tricks, nor any desire. I humbly beg it of you. You are not the man I expected, Lavok. I, I shall do as you ask. Very well, the sphere. The sphere is powered by the heart of a powerful demon. Our last trip now would have depleted the power sources the last heart the sphere had. You need to go out into the plane and acquire the heart of another demon. I know not how, but you must. Bring the heart to the engine room of the sphere and place it inside the golem there. It will reset the controls while you are gone. But go quickly, Vailgar. There are things that will stir in the planes and take notice of the sphere now that it is here. Go, and I will try to hang on long enough. Wow. Just as I thought. That's incredible. I was fully expecting... Uh, uh, Lorgar... Lavok, sorry. Lavok, I was fully expecting to just be some evil bastard 
who would continue to be as evil as evilly possible right up to the end. But no. He was actually... Uh, he actually apparently learned in the top time he spent as an evil bastard. That's actually kind of cool. So, we're down one necromancer, but now we need to go find a demon and rip out its heart in order to give this sphere the power to get back to our dimension. Should be fun. I'm being sarcastic, of course. <laughs> 